Hello, it's David. Have you ever considered trading in your costly, complicated mortgage payments for a debt-free and simpler lifestyle? Do you wish that you could just pack up and move anywhere you want in the country without having to go through the process of selling your home, hiring movers, or finding a new place to live? Is leaving a smaller footprint on the environment important to you? If the answer is yes to any of those questions, then a tiny house may be the right move for you. So if you decide to trade it all in and join the tiny house movement, there's almost certainly a perfect home for you. In this list, we will be taking a look at some of the ideas others have had when designing their perfect home. But be warned, some of these homes get a little wild. 19 tiny houses that will blow your mind. 19. Casa do Penedo. Casa do Penedo, or Stone House, is the first incredible tiny house on the list. This home was built, or wedged, in between four large boulders and was constructed in 1974. Resting on a mountainside, Casa do Penedo was originally used as a vacation home. Today, it is more of a tiny museum and a growing tourist attraction. This is an obvious example of a tiny house being built out of a very unique foundation. It goes to show you that if you plan on downsizing, you can really be creative. 18. The Shed One of the great benefits of owning a tiny house is that you can basically build them or move them anywhere you want. The owners of this tiny home, also known as The Shed, opted to build in the wilderness. The hustle and bustle of city living can be overwhelming for anyone. Mountain living is calm and peaceful. Another bonus is that you can use the money saved on big mortgage payments to get yourself a nice plot of land. Your home can be your mountain retreat with plenty of room for gardening, hiking, or any other outdoor activities you enjoy. 17. Tiny Houses on Wheels As we have stated before, tiny houses are mobile. If you get bored with staying in the same place for too long but hate the hassle of moving, tiny houses can make your life a whole lot easier. Need a scenery change? Hook it right up to your 4x4 and haul it anywhere you want to go. You can also save money on vacations, and one day your house could go from a mountain home to a beach house. If you find yourself missing your family, pull your house into the backyard and stay for as long as they will have you. The possibilities and destinations are endless. This is a truly huge upside to owning a tiny house. The freedom of moving your home around whenever you want is something you will only find with tiny homes. 16. Tiny House TV Shows With the growing popularity of tiny homes, it only makes sense that there are several shows you can watch that are dedicated to the movement. Take Tiny House Big Living, for example. On this show, folks are trading in their tiny homes and having a tiny house custom built to their liking. Most of these people are paying for them outright. This means that they now have more money every month for experiencing life rather than coughing up all of their hard-earned dollars on bills and debts. Another good example of this is Tiny House Hunters. This show takes you through the journey of someone seeking out the tiny house best suited for them and making it their home. So many options out there and so many designs that can fit right into anyone's personality or lifestyle. 15. Pro Next Cabin Next on our list is Pronex Cabin, which is truly a unique tiny house. This home was crafted by Richard Pronex in the Alaskan wilderness using only hand tools that he built himself. The 12 foot by 16 foot cabin was built using brown spruce logs he obtained locally. Everything on this cabin was handcrafted by him when the home was finished in 1968. Richard was a strong voice for the preservation of wilderness in Alaska. After living in this home without cell phone service, internet, electricity, or even running water for 30 years, it was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 2007. If anyone went all in on the tiny house movement and a defender of the environment, it was Richard Proenek. He hunted, fished, and raised his own food. He mostly used natural materials from the environment to build his home. He assisted the Lake Clark National Park Service in filming sensitive areas and notifying them of poachers. In 2012, a museum exhibit was opened for him at the Donaldson Public Library in Donaldson, Iowa, near his hometown. The cabin is now open to the public if you want to check it out. They lock it up during the winter, but during the summer months, you are free to swing by daily and see it for yourself. 14. Earthship Tiny Houses Earthship tiny houses are another example of the unique and creative ways tiny house owners are constructing their homes. Earthship tiny houses use solar designs and modern off-grid technology to make them highly eco-friendly and sustainable. Materials from Earthship tiny homes are made from many types of recycled materials. They can be built using very little amounts of money and the low operating costs make them great for keeping the budget low. Like the idea of using the earth to build and sustain your home? Then get yourself an Earthship tiny house. 13. Carriage House If you want a tiny house with some history behind it, try looking into a carriage house similar to the one shown here. This carriage house has been made into a single-family home and is located in Manhattan, New York. While carriage houses are normally much more affordable than your standard everyday house, anything located in Manhattan is going to cost you an arm and a leg. Carriage houses were originally built to house the horse-drawn carriages as well as any servants or maids that may be tending to the property. Over time, people started using them as apartment rentals, businesses, and even converting them into single-family homes. 12. Tiny House Communities 
So you have your tiny house, but you don't know where to go with it. No one around you has caught on to this tiny house movement, and you really want to be around other like-minded people who go tiny. Well, you are in luck. All over the country, you can find small communities filled with tiny houses. Cities like Fresno, California and Durango, Colorado have all made huge strides in organizing and legitimizing tiny house living. People will have the same outlook on life and ambitions, all living in the same neighborhood and there to help you out. After all, trading away all that square footage can be tough. 11. Tiny House Travelers Have you been considering going tiny, but you are unsure if you can part ways with all your stuff? There are a lot of YouTube channels and bloggers out there that will give you an inside look at what life is like after going tiny. They will show you the sacrifices that have to be made, but also the rewards that can be achieved once you choose this trendy lifestyle. Take Tiny House Giant Journey for example. Here you will find all kinds of stories and advice for downsizing to a tiny home. The creator of the site, Jenna, shares her journey from hating her job to going tiny and traveling the world. There are resources everywhere for anyone looking to convert to a tiny lifestyle and free themselves from the restraints of a mortgage payment or rent. 10. Train Car House Remember how we talked about some of these homes getting a little wild earlier? Well, this train car house is definitely one of those homes. Now, I know what you're thinking. This awesome train car home isn't all that tiny. How does this home make the list? Great question. Due to its size, this shouldn't technically be considered a tiny house, but what it lacks in the tiny department, it makes up for in creativity. Obviously, living in a train takes a creative mind. With so many tiny house builders coming up with new and fun ways to build these homes, an old train car seems like a fitting shell to build a tiny home out of. 9. Floating Tiny House Wouldn't it be cool to take a jet ski into work every morning? Or maybe you would rather just drive your house to shore for your morning commute. If you decide you want your tiny house to float on water, this can be a reality for you. Spend your day swimming and fishing off your front porch before going inside and watching your favorite show on Netflix. Seems like a pretty cool lifestyle to me. 8. Varda Think tiny houses are just a new fad that only got popular recently? Tell that to the British Romani people who lived in wagons around the mid-1800s. The Varda was a wagon that was highly decorated, intricately carved, and created for the purpose of year-round living. They had chimneys to vent smoke, china cabinets, and bedrooms. Sound familiar? This is an early day tiny house, except there weren't Ford F-250s in these days, and having a stable of horses was required to tow around the Vardo. 7. Spite House One tiny house worth noting is located in the North End neighborhood of Boston and known as the Spite House, or the Skinny House. This home is the definition of vertical living. Instead of doorways to the different spaces in this home, they are divided up by floors. For example, the second floor is where you would access the living room and bathroom. The home is narrow, the narrowest home in Boston in fact. At one spot in the house, the walls are only 6.2 feet apart, allowing someone to reach from one side to the other. The only entrance to the house is through an alleyway in the back, not the best place to host your family for the holidays. 6. Conway House The Conway House is definitely one of the tiniest houses on our list. It was confirmed by the Guinness Book of World Records to be the smallest house in Great Britain. This home also comes with a lot of history since being built in the 16th century. It was occupied all the way up to the 1900s when a fisherman was forced out after the council declared it unfit for human habitation. The 6'3 fisherman could not even stand up straight in this home. Today, this tiny house is used as a tourist attraction. Upon arrival, you are greeted by someone standing in traditional clothes who will tell you all about the history, followed by a tour of this iconic tiny house. 5. Tiny House Stronghold All over the country, you will see more and more of tiny house neighborhoods popping up. A good example is this group of four tiny houses that were built on an alley lot in the Stronghold neighborhood of Washington, D.C. These homes were created by three people who believe in the tiny house movement and several architects. The homes come equipped with fruit trees, vegetable gardens, and a complex water filtration system. These homes serve to help with the idea of using tiny homes to find solutions for tight space problems. Big cities tend to have limited amount of space and large amounts of people looking for homes. Tiny houses seem to be perfect for the job. 4. Tumbleweed Tiny Houses if you have ever looked into buying a tiny house or getting a tiny house built for you, then you most likely came across Tumbleweed Tiny House Company. Tumbleweed is one of the most popular tiny house manufacturers today. They have many different designs you can choose from, and if you can't find one you like, they allow you to design your own. The company started in 1999, and today are one of the biggest names in the business. They also have financing plans that allow you to get into your house as soon as possible. If you are planning to go tiny, this is definitely a company worth checking out for your next home. 3. Beach Huts As we mentioned earlier, tiny house communities have been popping up all over the world. But maybe you don't want to fully commit to trading in all your precious square footage. Maybe you like your things and would rather not part ways with all your stuff. Tiny house beach huts give you the chance to experience what life is like in a tiny house. 
Instead of going for it completely, you can just take a little vacation and test the waters a little bit. Tiny house beach huts and cottages are popping up all over the coast and can also be a cheaper alternative to renting out a house or a hotel room. Two, Stanton Drew Toll House. The Stanton Drew Toll House is located in the English County of Somerset and was originally designed as a toll collector. A pouch was hung over the door by a hook and as coach drivers passed, they tossed the fee in the sack. Over time, the hexagonal building, also known as the Roundhouse, was no longer needed for its toll collecting duties and became a full-time home. The ground floor housed the kitchen and shower while the first floor was used for the bedroom. The home was still occupied all the way up until 2012. One, the Nest House. The Nest House was developed by Jonathan Avery of Tiny House Scotland as an attempt to create an alternative for sustainable living. He built this movable, module eco house with a highly insulated shell consisting of 10-foot walls, roofs, and floors. You can get the nest house in several different sizes ranging from 109 to 300 square feet. There are also a few different options when it comes down to what features you want your tiny house to have. In the living area, the nest house comes with a wood-burning stove, a full-size couch, and a roll-out desk. You can access the bedroom by untucking the stairs that are normally hidden away from the main living area. As you can see, tiny houses come in all shapes and sizes. Any way you slice it, going tiny has become increasingly popular, especially for anyone trying to simplify their life and cut down on costs. If you don't need the space and want to experience life to the fullest, tiny house living could be the best choice for you. Thanks for watching and subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos.